Hey guys, Jill here for Premiere Basics, a weekly series where I teach you all the ins and outs of Adobe Premiere Pro. Now today we have a super neat trick that you can use to create audio spectrum visualizers from any kind of music track inside of Premiere Pro. Now what is a visualizer? Well, it's basically a visual element that shows the different frequencies from the music or the sound. And we can make this in After Effects with some built-in effects, but since this is a Premiere Pro channel, we're gonna do it that way. Now all you need is Premiere, software to screencast, and of course, some music. And that's where our sponsor for today comes in, because this video is sponsored by audio. So for this effect, we of course need audio, and that's where we're going to look for on audio.com. It's a fast-growing music licensing company, and for just a small fee per month, you can get access to unlimited songs and sound effects without any additional fees. All of the sound effects and the music on their website are super high quality. So, perfect to use for any type of project. Okay, let's find some cool songs to visualize. I like the Black Magic track by Travis and the Gucci song by Chill Winston featuring Big Knox. Now, after downloading these, I'm going to open up Premiere Pro and drag my song to the timeline. Okay, now comes the part where you need to pay attention. From the effects panel, look for the graphic equalizer 10 bands effect and drag it onto your song. Why do we use this effect? Well, we can separate and isolate the different frequencies and that's exactly what we want for the visualizer. Go to the effect controls and from that effect, click on edit. Then a new window will pop up. Now drag all the sliders down except the first one. Then close the window and now we're going to close most of our panels by right clicking on them and closing them. Except for the audio meters. Now enlarge this a lot. Now because we're now going to play the music, you will see this moving a lot. But a quick tip here. If you really enlarge it a lot, the meter will go horizontal instead of vertical. This doesn't really matter, but I want it to remain vertical. Then in the meter itself, hit the little S button on either the right or left track. We want it to be a solo meter. Okay, next up, open any type of software that can record your screen. On Windows 10, there's a built-in game bar which you can open by clicking Windows and G. Now from here, you can record your screen. Now you can also use Streamlabs, OBS, or any other type of software. And for Mac users, I recommend QuickTime Player. Okay, once you've started recording your screen, make sure to play the music in Premiere. And what we really want to record here is the audio meter. Now make sure that your software also records the audio. Now once the song is done, stop recording, save your recording, and then go back to Premiere and open the edit window from the graphic equalizer again. Then drag the left slider down and drag the one besides it up. Then record your screen again and play the music. Now keep on repeating this until you've recorded every slider of that graphic equalizer effect. Once again, very important to note here is that you should record your audio if possible. Because now we're going to import all of these clips into Premiere, drag them above each other in the timeline, right click on them and select synchronize. Now make sure that the music layer is also still in your timeline on track number one. And from the synchronize menu, make sure to sync to audio on track number one and hit OK. Once Premiere is done syncing, the clips will be properly aligned. You can delete the parts that are not needed. Then we can get rid of all the audio except for the music layer itself. You can do this by holding Shift and Alt while selecting all of the audio layers and then hit Delete. Now comes the part that takes a bit more time. From the Effects panel, look for the Crop effect and drag that onto your top layer. Then from the Effects controls, make sure to use the Crop Effects properties to crop the image so only the audio meter itself is visible. Now, since you've shot everything from the same screen, simply copy and paste the crop effect onto all of the other layers. Okay, now comes the part where you can tweak all of the audio meters with the motion properties from the effect controls panel. So position them to your likings and you can even make them smaller or bigger. Whatever you think looks best. Then we're going to the project panel, right click in it and create an adjustment layer. Drag that on top of the other clips and go to window, Lumetri color. Now first desaturate everything completely and then from the curve step make an inverted layer. That means dragging the right one down and the left one up and both a little bit to the middle so it's really contrasty and completely pure white and pure black. Now this will also make it easier to blend later on without getting transparent parts. Then select all of the layers, right click on them and nest them. Once nested, you can use different blending modes, but I'm going to the effect controls and from the opacity tab, I'm choosing darken. And bam, you've got yourself an audio spectrum visualizer. Now you can always give this a color by using the tint effect. And if you want to give each of these meters a different color, just go into your nest and apply the tint effect to each of the layers separately. Once done, you can nest everything together and play around with a whole bunch of different effects to create custom and awesome looking audio visualizers.
And that's how easy it is. Now guys, like I mentioned before, if you need any sound effects or any type of music that you can use for your projects, then go over to audio.com. Yes, it has two eyes. Now with the link in the description below, you will get 10% off your subscription purchase. So don't hesitate and get that subscription right away. And with that coupon code applied, it's actually the cheapest one on the market right now. So if you want access to high quality sound effects and music, then definitely check out the link in the description down below. Now I'll see you guys next week for a new tutorial. And as always, stay creative.